Okay, so let's look into what are the different kinds of circulation that are present. So on the basis of the circulatory patterns, we have two kinds of circulation. One is the open circulation and the next one is the closed circulation. Now in open circulation, what happens, the blood is pumped by the heart and passes through large blood vessels and it is drained into open spaces or body cavities called sinuses. So over here, there is no proper vascular system. That is why it is being drained into open spaces and not into any proper vessels. Now in closed circulation, what happens, there is a network of closed blood vessels through which the blood is tr being transported. So over here, it is having a proper vascular system. Now the open circulation, it is observed in arthropods and mollusks, whereas the closed circulation, it is observed in all the chordates and also in annelids. Right, so moving on, let's look into some of the circulation that is present in different animals. Let's start off with fishes. So in fishes, the heart is divided into only two chambers. So they have two chambered heart. That is one atrium and one ventricle. Now what happens, the blood from the heart is pumped and it goes to the gills. So the deoxygenated blood is pumped and it goes to the gills. Now in the gills, the blood receives oxygen and becomes oxygenated. So here they receive oxygen and it becomes oxygenated and the oxygenated blood it comes back and moves into the systemic circulation that is onto the different organs of the body and after it gives off the oxygen to the different organs it is again deoxygenated and moves through the veins moves through the veins inside the heart again so there is only one cycle of the blood so that is why it is also called a single circulation circulation and the heart like i said it is having only two chambered two chambers that is one atrium and the ventricle the ventricle pumps the blood to the gills whereas the atrium receives the blood that is coming from the veins. So the whole thing, if we shorten it out, so the heart gives our blood to the gills, from the gills to the organs, from the organs it is coming back to the heart. Right. So it is very simple. Now moving on to amphibians and reptiles. So amphibians and reptiles we're going to talk about them simultaneously now all reptiles and amphibians they have a three chambered heart three chambered heart now three chambered heart it means that they are having two atria or two atrium and a single ventricle but there is an exception to this. In reptiles, crocodiles have four chambered heart. So they have four chambers inside their heart. That is two atria and two ventricles. Now in amphibians, in reptiles, what happens is that the left atrium 
the left atrium, that is this part. It receives oxygenated blood. It receives oxygenated blood. You can see the color is red. So it receives oxygenated blood from the lungs or gills or skin. Whereas the right atrium, that is this chamber, it receives it receives deoxygenated blood. You can see the color is blue. It is receiving deoxygenated blood from other parts of the body. And you know the blood is the blood is moving from both these chambers, that is the left atrium and the right atrium, into the single ventricle that is present. And hence we have a mixing of blood mixing of blood and the ventricle in turn pumps this blood onto the lung skills or whatever and also into the systemic circulation so a mixed blood is going on to the systemic circulation and also into the gills lungs or skin I mean to the respiratory organ where it is again getting oxygenated now that was about the amphibians and reptiles now moving on to birds and mammals so let me write it down birds and mammals birds and mammals they exclusively they have four chambered heart that is two atria and two ventricle and the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is received by the left and right atria respectively so oxygenated blood oxygenated blood it is received by the left atria whereas the deoxygenated blood it is received by the right atria so this is in case of all the birds and mammals and the ventricles the ventricles they pump the blood out of the heart right so the ventricles pumps blood out of the heart and since there is no mixing there is no mixing of the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood and the two the two circulations are kept separate the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood that is why we call this a uh, double circulation call it the double circulation because once the heart, once the blood is going to the lungs and is coming back to the heart and again from the heart the blood is going to the systemic circulation and is again coming back to the heart so that is why it is called the double circulation so we're going to look at the human circulatory system in the following videos and you're going to have a clear notion of what is double circulation and how the heart is working uh, to pump the blood so all of that and more in the next one